Hey guys, just a quick tutorial on rolling uh, our high sex static. It is actually the most common um, type of wormhole in terms of its mass. It's a 2 million ton limit. That means after 2 million tons of ships have gone through it, it will collapse. And because it's our static, we'll get a new random one. So this is useful for anybody who lives in a wormhole. Or if you're a nullsec, you're trying to get rid of a wormhole. Most common ones are going to be 2 million tons. So we do this using a special battleship. Um, the fit for a certain mass. We try and get it to a certain mass. Depending on your skills, uh, you might have to adjust a module or two. So on this ship, uh, you can see that when we simulate it, we have just over 300,000 tons with the prop mod on and just over 200,000 tons with the prop mod off. Let's make some math real easy to get to 2 million tons. So it's either 0.2 million or 0.3 million basically at a time when it goes through. Now what we've done is we've used a praxis for our rolling ship because uh, any new bro or any instant alpha you make can jump into this and perform this duty for you. Now we add a Higgs anchor, which doubles the mass of the ship, and a prop mod, a battleship prop mod, adds 100,000 tons. So you can see when we simulate this uh, off, mass is cut in half, okay? And we add plates to get it to the uh, hundreds mark, so like the 200, 300 mark. We want it just over. Now, if you have layering skill, armor layering, you're gonna have to online them all. If you don't have that skill, you're gonna end up around 310,000 tons, so you would offline one of these to make the fit work. And of course, you would arm it up and put utility and stuff on it. This is just an example fit. So, we actually have instructions in game on how to do this. What you can do is you can open up a new channel. So go to your chat menu by clicking on the plus sign and in chat, you're gonna type in wormhole tools. This is just a reference channel, not a chat channel. You can close it when you're done and your chat menu will actually remember it. Now up at the top of the channel, you're gonna find links to rolling instructions. These are other chats you can open up that will have instructions ship by ship, step by step, color coded. We're looking to do two battleships, two million ton holes. So we're gonna click on this one. It actually contains the instructions for both a one million ton hole and a two million ton hole using just two battleships. We want the section that's for two million tons. Okay. Now this cold and this hot, what that means is prop mod off. Remember we got just over 200,000 with our afterburner off and just over 300,000 with our afterburner on. So that's what cold and hot means. No afterburner, afterburner on. You can see we're gonna be doing two passes and then based on if it's shrunk or not, which I'll show you, uh, we would change if we have our prop mod on the next the next pass or not, okay? So, actually I'll leave that open for this. So I'm gonna be dual boxing with my alt Morales. We're both in these ships. Now I know that our high sex static is a B274. It has a uh, 2 million ton limit before it collapses. Now there can be some variation, minus 10% or plus 10% on that mass. So it could be as low as 1.8 million tons or as high as 2.2 million tons. So we need the math to work out so that when it collapses, we don't have somebody on the far side. So I'm gonna show you that math as I go. All right, now, where did I find that information on B274? So I know that Looking up my system on Anoikis and Wormhole Tools, uh, I could tell that my static was a B274. Uh, wormhole system info right here, Anoikis. And you can open up Wormhole Connections. I think it's actually called Wormhole Types now, but it'll open up the channel and you can look up B274 and see that, okay, it's a high sec, 2 million ton limit, 375 per pass, 24 hours lifespan. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and undock. So we're going to be doing two passes. It's going to take about six or seven minutes total. I'm going to warp over to my high sec. And when I arrive, because I am on um, the side that it spawns from in my overview, the wormhole will have as its name B274. And that's what I would look up in this. If 
it uh, does not have a number, it just says K162. That means it spawned from the far side into me. What I can do is I can actually visually ID what class of system is on the far side. This will open up a uh, link to visually ID that. So I could see based on what it looks like. This is going to show me on Mars space, so it doesn't really matter. But if it was the C2, C3, C4, etc., I could visually ID that. And then based on what's on the other side, I would use this table. And I could say, okay, so it's a C3 on the far side, and I'm in a C2. So from a C3 to a C2, I know it's an I182, and I can see the mass limit. Right. So now we're going to go ahead and jump through our high sec. Now, in the instructions, we can see that for our first pass, we're going out cold, no prop mod on both our battleships. Okay, going out 200,000 plus 200,000 will give us 400,000 tons against our 2 million ton limit, possibly as low as 1.8 million ton. That, so I don't mind just warping the fleet over to the sun and back. So now this is where we are here. We are at 200,000 plus 200,000. Gives us 400,000. When we go back in, we're going back hot. The reason for this is it gives us this 1 million ton total. At this point, we're going to see if we're past the halfway mark on the mass limit. So if it is a normal or a smaller than normal hole, we should have a message in the info that tells us we're past that halfway mark. If it's shrunk, Meaning past the halfway mark, it's going to say this wormhole has had its stability reduced, but not to a critical degree. If it is not shrunk, it will say has not had its stability reduced. And that would be the second pass down here. So we're right here. We're going to go back hot. Prop mods on to give us 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. That gives us 1.0 million tons. Sometimes there'll even be a sound accompanying it when it shrinks it. So what does the info say? Has had its stability reduced. Okay. So we are here. Has had its stability reduced. We've done this. We're at our 1 million tons. Done that step. So now we've got a 2 minute and 40 second polarization to wait out. Time. So we're going to say at uh, nine and a half, ten and a half after the hour. No. Ten after the hour. So right now we are at one million tons. It is shrunk. So we're going to do the same thing again. If shrunk, it means it's either a 1.8 million ton hole or a normal 2 million ton hole. So going out, we're going to add that 400,000 again, bringing us to 1.4. And then coming back, we're going to go hot, hot again. The first guy coming back hot will put us to 1.7. So 1.4 million plus 300,000, 1.7 which is still under that 1.8, that possible 1.8 limit, so it won't close the hole. And 
and gives us enough room for the battleship to come back. Second battleship comes through at just over 300,000. Remember, we're just over 200 or 300,000. So we should be just over the 2 million ton mark and it will close. Whether it is smaller than normal or a normal hull, it will shrink, or sorry, it will close on this second pass. This is just our little perch for safety here. Normally I would dock off and hide what I was doing, but I don't want to deal with the transitions during the video. So second pass, if shrunk. We're going to go out cold again, no afterburner, come back hot. And that will put us at the 2 million ton total. Right, taking us back to the high sector. So we're going out cold because it was shrunk, it has had its stability reduced. We are done that step now. We are at 1.4 million tons, just over 1.4 million tons. So I'll send this to the sun. on this part, now we're on this part. Now, if I hadn't actually been the one to roll this hole previously, um, I might not know if other people have gone through it with different math ships and thrown off the math. So in, if that happens, what you do is you do one ship at a time and check the message at each step of the way. So if it says shrunk early you would adjust what you do so if it says shrunk after a pass then you know that you're somewhere around this and you would um you would change what you're doing with your battleships to make the math work Now we're at 1.4 with both ships on the far side. We want to make sure that when the first guy comes back, he doesn't collapse the hole, which is why we put the two cold at the front. So out cold to get 0.4. So that when the first guy comes back hot, it's at 1.7 instead of over like the 1.8. So he is now coming back hot. Afterburner on. That part's done. Now the second guy. Do the same. and now the wormhole will collapse and gone and that's how you roll your most common 2 million ton hole if you know that you're the one uh, to have rolled it before I hope this helps you manage your own wormhole a little easier with just two guys as opposed to a giant fleet of sigils uh, very quick with the Braxis is if you're fairly safe doing it and uh, if you're in null sec or low sec and you need to do some farming, either mining or ratting, 
This will help you to close most of the holes that you encounter. Alright, cheers guys.